Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Bricks Below, back here with an unboxing video um, and a story to tell about what's in this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have here because it it deals directly with the story. So um, first of all, I got some bricks from the Pick a Brick Online um, order, and so these are some of them. Uh, these will be used uh, throughout the city. But the the set I was really really looking forward to was this. One. This is the Vintage Taxi set. Um, this set is really, really cool looking. Um, and it look, yeah, I'm, I, I've seen videos of it and whatnot, and it looks like it'll really go well with the um, Boutique Hotel, which is why I'm really excited to get this. Um, now, this was a gift with purchase. I don't know if it's currently active anymore or not, but I purchased this on the night that it came out. Um, but you needed $200 to get this set for free. As you can see, this is not $200 worth of bricks. So what happened? Basically, the story goes is, and what ended up happening was, I ordered um, these pick bricks um, along with a $200 set, which ended up being the Stranger Things Upside Down set. Now the reason why is because I usually try to buy these uh, pick or do pick brick orders when I'm purchasing Lego sets. And the reason why is because um, Le, you know, Lego does free shipping after a certain minimum threshold. Um, and so I try to, whenever I'm purchasing Lego sets, go ahead and pick up some bricks um, just because I don't want to pay extra for shipping when I can get this for free or ship for free, um, per se. I'm still paying for this. But overall, in here, I think this is about $7.10 worth of pieces. So, I, like I said, I ordered this and I ordered the Stranger Things set, um, which um, passed the threshold to get this vintage taxi set. So what happened was I got a not notification from Lego, an email, that the Stranger Things set had been backdoor. But at the same time, I had gotten a notification that these two sets, or these two, had been shipped. So I kept waiting, and that backordered set went from backordered to canceled completely. Which, um, I'm, a little sh I'm a little surprised, but... Not really. Um, I think the Stranger Things set is one that's about to retire, so it's kind of one of those things where Lego doesn't have much availability. Um, and the other real reason I ordered that set to begin with was there wasn't really a good selection of Lego sets to order at the time. Um, Lego's been doing a thing where really they, they try to put really good gift with purchases um, or VIP points and everything like that at times where, you know, there aren't, no sets have just come out. And what I mean by that is they released the boutique hotel but there was no real gift with purchases for it. Um, and so you really would have had to wait for this to come out in order to get that, to get them both. But with the way things are and the uncertainty of getting sets um, and not all Lego stores carrying the sets, you know, guaranteed, it's kind of just a mixed bag. So that's why I decided to order the Stranger Things set. But again, that order got canceled, but this got shipped. So like I said, this is $10 or sorry, $7.10 worth of, of bricks um, that I paid and got this for free, uh, which is a really, really good deal. But here's where things get crazy. I have not been charged for this. Hey, it's Post Editing Bricks Below here. Um, I wanted to clarify something. Um, in this section, I was gonna talk about how I had thought that I'd paid $0 for this set um, only because I kept checking my bank statements and seeing that there were zero purchases from Lego. However, I went back um, and I remembered that the night that I made the purchase, I actually used a gift card um, in order to pay for this. Um, and I checked the gift card balance and I'd seen that it was lower. So Lego had basically um, taken the money um, using the gift card. I actually went back and found basically the email that talked about how much the total was, which ended up being $8 for the pieces and the gift with purchase, um, which made me really happy because basically I was, all I was paying for was the pieces and I got the free gift with purchase and free shipping, um, which is still a pretty good deal. But yeah, I just want to clarify that. Uh, so that's why I'm recording this. This is a really weird experience. I, I don't know um, what to think. Um, my theory is that basically since I'd ordered these pieces and these pieces they had, they went ahead and shipped these two together um, just so they can go ahead and get them out the door. Um, and then the other set got canceled. I've actually, uh, I think I read somewhere on Reddit where somebody's order got canceled um, and instead of, you know, they talked to Lego to customer service and they got sent the, you know, this, this set and all they paid for was shipping. 
um, which is, you know, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just, I guess I wasn't expecting this. Um, for a while there, I thought this order would also be canceled, but it's here in front of me. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of the story behind this. Um, I'm really excited to build this and show it to you guys. I don't really recommend anyone trying this tactic of trying to order a canceled tip just because, um, you know, I, I don't, I, this probably was just a fluke um, and it happened once. You know, I've heard of crazy things where people buy, you know, one Lego set and then they get shipped two of them um, just because of the way things work and accents and whatnot. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys have heard of any crazy stories or if you guys have any crazy stories of Lego shipping you guys something wrong. Um, something you weren't expecting or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.